Welcome guys, in this video we will be looking at these phone coolers and do they actually work? Well, this video is going to tell you everything you need to know about the phone coolers. And I bought a bunch of phone coolers from the cheapest to the most expensive ones to test their performance and see which ones are good. I've been using a phone cooler since the last 2 years and it greatly enhanced my gaming experience. I mean without a phone cooler my iPhone screen will start dimming itself within just 10 minutes of gaming and eventually it will start lagging. But with a phone cooler the brightness never really drops even after hours of gaming I barely get the brightness drop. The only time where I noticed my frame drops was when I forgot to turn on my phone cooler. But keep in mind that I play in an air conditioned room. Combining phone cooler with the air conditioner is the most powerful way to cool down your phone. This is why my phone barely heats up. But without the air conditioning, just the phone cooler alone can keep up to 30 minutes. And then it will start dimming its brightness. After 1 hour is where the phone cooler will start to struggle. However, I play at 90 FPS with maximum brightness all while screen recording. So your experience may vary. Just by using phone cooler alone you can game twice as long or even longer without running into any heating issues. But your experience may vary depending on how warm your room is. By the way, there are many methods to cool your phone. One of my favorite one is freezer. If you are a hardcore gamer, you probably put your phone in the freezer to quickly cool it down. I'm sure most of you have done it. I used to do this a lot but I heard it's bad for the device. So don't do this, instead use a phone cooler. Another common way is using a mini table fan. You may have seen some players use a mini fan like this to cool down their phone while gaming. It does work, but if you take this fan and stick it to your phone, it would be much more efficient in terms of cooling since there's a direct contact with the phone. This is basically what phone coolers are. But how do these phone coolers work? A basic phone cooler will use its fans to intake outside air and direct it onto the phone's back like this. This continuous airflow will help cooling down your phone's temperature. This allows you to game for a little longer. However, there are better coolers that are more advanced that comes with a thermal pad or a metal heatsink which are much more efficient at cooling down your phone. This is a black shock cooler. They posted a video showcasing their coolers can reach freezing temperatures like this. I tried to recreate this to see if this is possible but the closest temperature I can reach is close to 0 degrees celsius. Almost every cooler with either a radiator or a thermal block was able to reach temperatures close to 0 degrees celsius in my testing. After watching this video for multiple times I noticed that they have done their test in a 10 degrees room temperature whereas my room temperature is at 24 degrees. I can't make my room temperature reach 10 degrees. So I experimented using my fridge which is set around 10 degrees and I was able to get the similar results as shown in the video. However, I did not get the same freezing effect with ice but I was able to reach the same temperatures. So this clearly shows that how powerful the phone coolers are at cooling down your phone. But they can't freeze your phone. These coolers can only cool down your phone by 2 or 3 degrees and the maximum is 5 degrees. Ultimately, it depends on your room temperature. I bought a lot of phone coolers for this video so I will be giving away 10 phone coolers to 10 lucky winners. To join this giveaway head over to my Instagram and follow my account and open the pinned post and tag two friends in the comment section to participate in this giveaway. But if you don't have friends, join my discord server and make some new friends. The winners will be announced in 2 weeks. All the links are in the description as well as in the pinned comment. So which type of phone cooler is the best? There are three types of phone coolers. The first one is a basic phone cooler. This comes with just a fan and it is usually the cheapest option. And the second one is an advanced phone cooler that comes with a thermal pad or a heatsink along with the fan. And the third one is a MagSafe cooler that comes with a magnetic attachment which is great for iPhones and it also features a thermal pad or a heatsink. If you are planning to get a phone cooler, I would highly recommend you to get one with a radiator or a thermal pad or a heatsink. Let's look at these phone coolers that I bought from Amazon. This is the cheapest phone cooler that I could find online. It costed me around 500 rupees or 6 US dollars. The price may vary depending on where you live, but this is a basic fan cooler. Keep in mind that it won't come with a radiator or any sort of heatsink, especially at this price point. But it still works and cools down my phone when I'm gaming. But this is an entry level product. I wouldn't recommend buying this if you are a heavy gamer. But if you don't have a budget for advanced coolers, then this will work fine. And the product link is in my video description and also in the pinned comment. Now let's look at the advanced phone coolers. 
Advanced phone coolers are what I highly recommend for every mobile gamer because they come with a radiator and this radiator can achieve freezing temperatures. So they are really good at cooling your phones. If you are wondering about the cost, they come at affordable budget friendly prices as well as high end models from a well known brands. But in India it's around 1000 to 2000 rupees. Let me quickly showcase some of the best coolers that I found. This is a Mobi Life cooler. It has the best build quality in this price range. It features a cooling pad with a radiator. In my testing, this cooler was able to reach 0 degrees Celsius from a 24 degree room temperature. So the cooling performance is really good. Here are few more phone coolers that I found which are good and I have some of them. By the way, all these product links are in the description and also in the pinned comment. So make sure to check them out. Now let's talk about the MagSafe phone coolers. MagSafe coolers tend to be more pricey but you can still find some inexpensive ones. For example, I got this one for 1300 Indian rupees. Its cooling performance is good although the build quality is pretty average and the magnets on this cooler are not strong as other MagSafe coolers. But it will still stick to your phone normally and it works. For around 2000 rupees, you can get this cubonic MagSafe cooler that comes in a triangle shape or in a circle shape. Even if you have an Android phone, this cooler will come with a metallic backplate that can be attached to back of your phone. Now your Android phones will have a magnet to hold the MagSafe cooler. However, only some coolers will come with a magnetic backplate. Check the link in the description, I will mention all the products that comes with a magnetic backplate like this. However, these back blades are not perfect. Some are weak, some are strong, so it won't be as convenient as iPhone MagSafe. The Razer phone cooler is the most expensive phone cooler that I have. It comes with the Razer's iconic chroma RGB effect, so I get more FPS. Plus, it makes my iPhone look like a gaming phone. It has the best build quality, it has the best RGB, and it has the best cooling performance in, in any phone cooler. But this is a very expensive phone cooler. However, if you can get this phone cooler for its retail price which is around $60, then it's a really good phone cooler. But if it costs 2 or 3 times than its original price, then it's totally not worth it. For example, if we compare the Razer phone cooler next to the cheapest MagSafe cooler, will they have the same cooling performance? Well, they won't match exactly but they do come quite close. There are two downsides of using a phone cooler. First, it requires a power source so you will need to sit next to an electrical outlet or use a power bank while gaming. Second, it's very annoying to take off the phone case and put the phone cooler every time you play, especially with those coolers that have a clamping mechanism. I was able to avoid this issue by using a magnetic phone cooler and a bumper case. So in the final conclusion, phone coolers are a game changer for the mobile gaming. Our phones are getting powerful every year but they lack an active cooling system. That's where these phone coolers come in and the phone coolers will deliver that active cooling system so you can game for longer durations without facing any overheating issues. So yeah, that's all I got for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.